Hi, welcome back. This is Michael Mozart, your product guru, bringing you the coolest products of yesterday and today. And sometimes the lamest or strangest or bizarre, and haven't figured out what these are yet. Look like action figures of Spider-Man and Green Goblin, don't they? Ah, wrong. Walkie-talkies. Ah, sounds kind of cool. Ah, what you see them out of the package? They've got a few issues. And, hey, stay tuned after I do these things, because I have a lot more bonus Spider-Man things today. I think you'll like that. Well, I finally got them out of that packaging. They use more twist ties to hold these in that packaging than the Wonder Bread factory uses in a day. But they're pretty well made. They look like action figures, but they're really not. Only the right arm's poseable. Because the right arm's the antenna. So you put the right arms up, and there's your antenna when you're using your walkie-talkie. And look at this. Now, I said this was Green Goblin before, but the packaging says Harry Goblin. Hey, if there's a difference, somebody leaves me a comment down there, because I really don't know what the difference is. I always thought this was Green Goblin. But look, he comes with this cool skateboard thing. I mean, these are, these are beautifully made. They're like collectible quality. They're very attractive. They're painted perfectly. But man, they got some problems with them. I, I don't even know where to begin. I feel so bad about doing it because I like Spider-Man so much, but uh, someone's got to do it. Spider-Man walkie-talkie isn't as bad as that hairy goblin one. No, you hold it to your face like this. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Good. Actually, we've tried them out here. They don't work very good. These aren't really good walkie-talkies. They're very staticky and they can't go very far. The speaker is right here in the center of Spider-Man's chest. See the little holes there? And oddly enough, you know, where you talk into, the mouth part where the little microphone is, is right in the middle of his belly button. So they gave uh, your Spider-Man a little belly button here. Yeah, but this hairy goblin figure, you can see like the speaker for your ears right in the middle of his chest like the Spider-Man was. But look at this! The little microphone pick up is below his belt buckle. It's right in his crotch! Anything below a belt buckle is the crotch. So you can imagine a kid, they gotta put up to their ear like this, they gotta talk into this guy's crotch. You know what this is gonna look like? I mean, I don't know if I want my mouth so close to a crotch like that just so I could talk into it. <sighs> the other thing kind of strange about these things is they're walkie-talkies. So, you know, you turn them on, you could talk across like a lawn. Go 50 feet away, you could talk to each other. Wow, how cool is that? It's like, yay, I got walkie-talkies. I got a cell phone with minutes I can call anywhere in America for free with crystal clear clarity, but I got walkie-talkies, yay. Who wants walkie-talkies anymore? They're kind of lame. I mean, they're kind of well-made, but think about it. I mean, where they put the microphone pickups, you know. In fact, it was so hard to get out of the box. I mean, oh, I don't know. I have to give these things sort of a, a thumbs down. Just a whole lot of levels. Mostly the, yeah, I go walkie-talkies levels, the number one reason. Oh, well. My first Spider-Man bonus is, hey, if you want out Easter time, you could buy Spider-Man fillable Easter eggs branded for the movie Spider-Man 3. Wow. They hoard this license out to anybody that would buy it, didn't they? I guess their target market is like the six-year-olds now. I don't know. An awful lot of the Spider-Man stuff is meant for little tiny kids, but these movies are a little violent. Don't you think that like six-year-olds shouldn't be seeing these things? Uh, Spider-Man 3 Easter eggs, uh, lame. More Spider-Man bonuses, check this one out. Spider-Man the breakfast cereal. No fooling, but boy, have I got a complaint with this package. Uh, is he, what's he putting on that cereal? He's putting his webs on the cereal? I mean, it looks awful liquid to be web. But what else could that be coming out of his hand? I don't think milk comes out of there. Hmm, you be the judge. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, as far as the cereal goes, I've tried it. It's kind of, ugh. So lame. Hey, when I think of Spider-Man, I think of Spider-Man Pop Secret Popcorn. Gag! Trash! <laughs> it's just fun throwing them things. I promised you lots of other cool products. Wait till you see these bonus ones I'm reviewing. Spider-Man Soda Pop. That's right. 12 little cans of Spider-Man Soda Pop. See, look at this, they're the little tiny ones that are so cute. And uh, actually, they're being touted as being healthier than normal here because they have like 12 vitamins and minerals and they claim on it, oh, we, we have one third less sugar. Wow, and no caffeine. But they put that artificial sweetener in there, you know, to make up the difference. So you're trading one bad thing for potentially another bad thing. I don't like artificial sweeteners, but these sodas taste really good. I've tried them. This blue raspberry one's great. And they're in Walmart on an end cap right now. They're damn cheap. Go out and buy some. I mean, they're really kind of cool. Quick, turn your lame phasers to stun. Look, Spider-Man Pringles. No fooling. They got like little pictures of the Spider-Man himself printed on here. How lame is this? I don't want printing up my food. 
I don't want to look at Spider-Man's face when I'm eating my Pringles. I mean, who thought of this crap? They got other pictures too. Whoa, a printed spider. And about 5,000 trivia questions printed on your Pringles. Gag, trash! <laughs> and the last Spider-Man product I'm going to talk about today, and I'm going to want your opinion on this so everyone sort of pay attention, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan. You know, you go to New York City, you go to the flea markets, there's all this knockoff Spider-Man stuff. No, really, this isn't a real Spider-Man licensed thing. See, Spider-Man, looks like Spider-Man in there. It ain't, it's a knockoff. Here's what the bottom of the package looks like. This isn't a licensed product. Look what it does on the back. Look at this, it shoots water, it shoots little bullets, it shoots all kinds of crap. It makes light and sound, but it isn't a real licensed product. Man, this stuff is really starting to flourish in America again. I thought they sort of put a stop to all this crap. I just gotta tell you as a product designer, don't buy this crap. This stuff hasn't been child safety tested. There could be lead paint in it. There could be sharp objects in it. It could put your eye out with this crap. All this untested stuff. How the hell is this stuff getting in here with all these modern searches of all the container ships and everything for terrorists? I guess they're not looking for Spider-Man in those containers. But I just thought everyone would like to see it. It's kind of weird. If this matches a real Spider-Man toy that's out there, let me know. I'm just curious. I've never seen one of these out there. There's what all the parts look like. Hey, but I hope you enjoyed this little special presentation of Spider-Man crap available for the new Spider-Man 3 movie. If you liked what you saw, please push that little orange subscription button up there that says subscribe to Jeepers Media. You'll be glad you did. Down there, there's some stars. Really appreciate a couple of them. Five would be great. Right, Faco Spider-Man? See, the bogus knockoff Spider-Man thinks so. But hey, thanks again. And don't forget to check out my channel. I have more than 40 cool product videos, including five other Spider-Man toy videos. Thanks again. Oh, lame. I almost forgot that one.